Hi guys, it's Alex from I Know. How's everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. Stuff came to my mailbox all the way from Panama City, Florida. This thing, this. This huge box came. Oh, things are going wrong. It's the excitement, I can't take it. Um, this came all the way from Sarah Williams, who I've seen you on my group, Sarah. So before I even open this, thank you so much for taking the time and effort to send something all the way from America. I know how difficult it is to send stuff from America because people tell me all the time. So um, yeah, really grateful. I don't know what it is. What could it be from Florida? A key lime pie? Palm tree? Maybe it's a box of sunshine. Anyway, let's open it and Sarah Williams, thank you, thank you, thank you. What is this? So many things, so many labels on here. I was looking to see if there was any indication, but that would just ruin the surprise. <laughs> Try not to stab myself or whoever's in this box. Then I have just got gotten over um, COVID, guys. So yeah, it was pretty, pretty sucked pretty bad. Anyway, let's see what's in here. Okay. Okay, look. Thomas, sorry it took me so dreadfully long to get this to you. I just kept adding things. And well, I thought enough is enough. So I've added Gallagher's entire sample pack and something else. I hope you enjoy everything with love, Sarah Ann, Florida, USA. <sighs> you know what? So if you don't know, um, there's, there's stuff in this box, guys, stuff. This is... Gallagher is a brand that I have been really, really wanting to discover. The only one I've tried is um, uh, Wicked Good. That's the one that I have. And I just talked about it in a Tonka video. How strange. She has sent me uh, all of this. I'm kind of overwhelmed by them. But look, all of Gallagher's ones. There is a perfume by them that I am dying to try and it's called Rosé All Day. I am literally knocking things off left, right and centre because I'm just so excited. Sarah, this is so generous. Oh my gosh, let me just put, I've just, I've dropped one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try one immediately before I look at anything else that's in this box and it's Rosé All Day because I've wanted to try this for a really long time. So I'm gonna just try it straight away, but oh my gosh, I'm excited, Sarah. Thank you, what's this one here? Look out, look at these. These are like glittery, shiny things. These are by Pearlescent Perfumes. I have never tried them before. I've never even heard of them. So I will try one of those as well. But for now, I really want to try Rosé all day. Curiosity has killed this cat. Apparently it's one of those super long lasting rose perfumes as well. Oh, it's so nice. I really like it. It's, a, it's fruity, it's really fruity. I mean, roses can be fruity as well, we know this, but this is purposefully fruity. It's so rich and kind of syrupy. I bet this is gorgeous on skin. I can smell a greenery as well, like a stemminess. Oh my God, okay, look at, it's got the notes on here. Apple crisp, plum, dark rose, brown sugar, tonka, is it a Tonka thing recently? I've been, I just did a Tonka video. <laughs> and stainless steel. Very, very interesting. Oh, it's so rich. I can, I can just feel the quality of this perfume just from spraying it on a card. I cannot wait to dive into these perfumes a lot. But for now, yeah, that's a syrupy, rich, fruity rose. Kind of, the rose oil is so pungent and but beautiful. Pungent is quite a negative word, but it's so beautifully rich. And oh my God, this is good. Really, really good. I'm gonna try one of these pearlescent ones. So we have Midnight Jasmine, Aqua Rose and Baklava. I think I'm gonna try the Jasmine one. And look, you can't, it doesn't really come across on camera, but they're, they're actually glittery and that makes me really happy because I like sparkly things. I'm a magpie. All right, let's try it. I, I have never, I've never tried these. So I know what Jasmine smells like. So I would be interested to see what this Jasmine entails. <clears throat> Ooh, this smells like Sandback Jasmine. 
Oh my gosh, do you know what this smells like? Recently I tried the new Imaginary Authors perfume, it's called Fox in the Flower Bed. And that one is a pretty good Sandback Jasmine. This is better. This is a better version of Fox in the Flower Bed. I don't know who this brand is. Oh, they're an American brand. Oh, okay, good. Okay, all right, staying on theme. Yeah, this is definitely a really gorgeous, rich Sandback Jasmine perfume, and I love it as well. Okay, I'm gonna see what else is in the box. I'm so intrigued. Sarah, you have spoiled me already. What's this? Oh, Darren Allen. Okay, that's what she, uh, Sarah said. She said, I have added uh, Gallagher's entire sample pack and Darren Allen. Again, I'm not sure who Darren Allen is, but let's see. This is so exciting. DarrenAllen.com. So there's one called Hecate. There's one called Sheepra number one. Already leaning towards that one. Uh, Bathory. Sacred Smoke and Vintage Novel. Oh my God, okay. I'm gonna smell the sheep for one. Is this another American brand? Are you giving me a taste of America in perfume form, Sarah? Mmm. Oh, I can, this feels like, um, Mmm, I like it. It's very, it's obviously a sheep pro. I can, it almost feels, it's like it's leaning animalic. There's a ton of citrus in this as well. Very cool, very well made and smells very good quality as well. I'm gonna try one other by him and see. Uh, what should we see? Let's have a look. Vintage, should we try vintage novel? Maybe he's a vintage brand. Let's try vintage novel and see what it is. It makes me so happy, <laughs> like Christmas. So we need to figure out a name for what feels like Christmas, but in perfume form, perfumous. Smellness. Chris Mel. All right, this, is, this one's called Vintage Novel by Darren Allen. Oh, this is, this is it, it, interesting. I have no idea what I'm smelling here. Huh. This is, there's a gourmand going on here. It's also got something aromatic in it and I can't pinpoint what. I don't think I've smelled a perfume like this before and that's exciting for me trying the rest of them. I can't get over how many samples are here right now. Seriously. Oh, I can't pinpoint what this is. It's dry, but also there's an element of something richly, almost syrupy wood as well. And gourmand and some herb. I'm gonna, I wanna look it up. I'm so, so intrigued that I want to look it up. Oh, so he's an artisanal perfumer from Pennsylvania, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is so, this is what I live for to smell the work of a super independent person that probably makes perfume in their home. It says that he's trained in classic French perfumery and it seems like he might be kind of a vintage style perfumer. I guess like the male equivalent of Liz Moores, who's Papillon artisan over here. He's got that uh, like vintage style down, it seems so far to me. This one's getting sweeter and there's a note that I really, really can't put my finger on. Oh, he has an Etsy shop as well. Shout out to him, guys. Check him out, Darren Allen. Lots of Taif uh, rose in here. Sandalwood, white musk, oud tincture, vanilla, tonka, tobacco, saffron, and spices. The rose is really coming out. Taif roses are so buoyant and kind of powdery and rich all at the same time. Anyway, I'm really intrigued to try more of his perfumes. Thank you so much, Sarah. Ah! Okay, there's one other very large thing in here. This has already got the address of my uh, mailbox on it, so I'm guessing that this was the original one, <laughs> and then you just kept putting more things in. This feels like it's got a hell of a lot of stuff in it, Sarah. What have you done? Oh my goodness. Oh look, zoologist paper. Look at them. Oh look, there's the bee. Um, let me read the note. Dear Thomas, I am so excited you got a box for your fans to mail you things. Most of the goodies I'm sending are self-explanatory. January Scent Project, Blackbird, Juliet Has A Gun. I apologize for there being so little in the Blackbird samples. Please, come on now. From a little house called Jade Daisy. Uh, one of their scents was a runner-up for an olfactory award. Uh, 
In some of the bags you'll find some Eldo, in the others the little vials are Sucre Bai, a small indie fragrance house from Washington. We are going around America today. Uh, I'm most interested in seeing you sample January scent project as um, I find them to be very avant-garde. Anyway, hope you can read my crazy handwriting and hope you have fun sampling. Sarah Williams, Sarah, this is, this is so much. And since you want me to try um, January scent project, those are the ones I'm gonna sniff. So let's have a look. Look at this cute little bag. So we have some um, Etat Libre d'Orange. Divin Enfant, you are someone like you. I was gonna wear that yesterday, you are someone like you. Anyway, so these cute little things, I don't even know. Look at them, they are little tiny vials. You said that they're by Sucre Bai, okay. I don't, I've never heard of them, I don't think. There's a lot, there's probably 20 of them to try. There's no way I'm gonna have enough nose power to try them all. I'm gonna do what Sarah wants me to do, and that is to try January Scent Project. There's a discovery set of Juliet Has A Gun. I own one of the perfumes by this brand. It's called Citizen Queen and it's one of my favorite iris fragrances. This one is Blackbird. I haven't tried them either. These are things that I can do spotlights on, Sarah. Do you know how exciting this is? I, when I get something like this, it's something that makes me want to do a spotlight where I sit and I smell all of them. So thank you so much. I'm not sure I'll be able to smell all 20 of the Sucre Bai ones. <laughs> are these oils actually? Let me just quickly see, what's this? I'm gonna just grab a random one. So this is called Toxic. Oh, I'm not sure if it's oil or, or perfume. Let me see. Oh, it smells like honey. Ooh, oh, oh my gosh. Uh, there's something else here with a little shiny heart on it as well. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Sarah, this is so cute. Oh, Jade Daisy. You, you, oh, yeah, 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 Jade Daisy. So she's Jade Daisy. These are all people that you guys can look up, you know, if you're intrigued by them, if you like artisanal perfume, if you like smaller brands like I do. It's so great to give these people attention and, you know, try their stuff because there are some perfumers out there sitting in their rooms or in small labs making amazing things that rarely get spoken about and this is kind of the sole existence of my perfume journey now so january scent project this is the one that sarah said to talk about um you said that they're avant-garde let's see if there's a hundred in here i'm gonna have to pick very carefully Oh God, there's quite a few. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna have to just do it by name. I'm gonna try maybe four or five of them. I hope that's okay, Sarah. There's even little blotters in there. Okay, let's have a look. Give me a second. I don't want you to just sit here while I'm going. <gasps> Ooh. The names of these perfumes are very intriguing and that's when you don't know what something smells like, the name is usually something that draws you to a perfume, right? So the ones that have stuck out to me is Bavuvu, because <laughs> I like strange words. There's one called Smolder Rose, and this one is ringing a bell. I'm not sure why I feel like I have heard of that particular one before. There's one called Ida Antler. I'm gonna smell that one. And I'm gonna smell Serin as well. Let's do this. I'm, there's so much perfume everywhere. Sarah, I, oh God. Really. Okay, let's smell Serin. Okay. Avant-garde. I love an avant-garde perfume. It is avant-garde. Oh, it smells natural. I'm getting an aromatic, animalic smell from this. It's in a forest kind of territory smell with maybe like an absinthe type feeling or like a wormwood going on. Oh, it's dark. This smells like autumnal Halloween-ish kind of smell to me. Or maybe something like spikenard. Spikenard gives me that. Or what's the other thing I'm thinking of? Cade. There's, it might have something like Cade. It's almost so herbal that it's it's stepping into smoky. 
Wow, this is really powerful. I feel like I'm gonna maybe get a headache. I hope not. Let's try Ida Antler. I'll look up what that one is in a minute. I, I chose it because the liquid's green and it's got the word antler in it. I was thinking maybe it might be like a Moose Canada style <laughs> fragrance. I don't know why. This is another aromatic. This one's much cleaner though. It smells a bit minty. It smells very lavendery. Oh, I have to give my nose a break. Yeah, mainly I'm getting lavender and a kind of cool herbal thing in the realm of like a basil or mint. Nice. Let's try this really dark one. This one's called Bavuvu. I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> I don't know. But I chose it because it's super dark. So there is so much here to be, to be discovering. Wow. Let me give this one a time. These ones need time to dry. I, they feel like they're natural to me. Oh, Sarah, you have really good taste in perfume. All of these brands have something special about them. I think I should smell at least one Blackbird one as well. And at least one from the other, from the, I can't remember what, there's too much going on. Oh, Jade. This one's a rose and it's a dark rose, rich rose. Really, it's rose. I can't smell much else for now. I'm gonna put it to the side. And then this one is called, oh, Smolder Rose. Okay, so we have another rose. I feel like I wanna smell more of them only because you spent all of this effort to send me this. Oh, this, when I smelled this, I immediately got transported to Disney World and I don't know why. Hmm. Oh, this is so much, this one is much nicer than the other rose. This is a bit more friendly. This has got some kind of, I almost want to say like Dr. Peppery, Coca-Cola type spice going on. Oh, I really like this. It reminded me of the smell of the Disney store as well. I don't know why the hell I'm going to Disney World in my brain when I smell these things, but you know, the heart wants what it wants. So Smolder Rose is Damask Rose, Bergamot Saffron, Roasted Seashells, Frankincense, Elderflower, Patchouli, Cade. I said Cade about a different one. Agarwood and Labdanum. I really like the feel of this one. It's got the other ones. The other ones too, they've got a nice feeling to them. I, I've smelled enough perfumes in my life now and I'm not sitting here blowing my own trumpet to immediately know when a perfume isn't super well made or the materials are, you know, subpar. So when you smell them, you can feel that there's goodness in there. Sometimes compositions don't have to be spectacular, but as long as you can feel the quality of what's inside, I've just grabbed a random one. It's called Vapor Syndro. This is also unusual. This has got, it smells a little bit almond, but then it smells a bit like tar. It smells a bit plastic, kind of new plastic on furniture and almondy to me. I'd be interested to see how they dry down, but unfortunately I don't have the time or nose power to, to do all of that, but I think I'll probably do a spotlight on them, Sarah, so don't worry. Things will be coming. This is just a first opening and impressions. Wow, this one, this one's definitely unusual. It's foodie, but it's also got something entirely chemical on purpose in it. Yeah, they're definitely new to my nose and that's what I look for. Let's quickly see what's in this uh, Vapron de Sorero. This one is uh, wood spice flower. Okay, lilac, green leaves, apple, turmeric, black pepper, jonquil, mahogany, ambergris, divana, blackcurrant, cumin, coffee, and sandalwood. I mean, look at these note lists. That's why you know you're gonna get an avant-garde kind of cool smelling perfume. Oh, I wanna smell, I'm gonna smell one from Blackbird and I will wrap the video up because I have a lot to explore when I have, I can sit with them and focus on a brand, but I feel like I want to do a spotlight on some of these. So Sarah, I can't thank you enough. I've randomly picked one. It's called Targa. There's so many smells flying around in here. I don't even know how I'm even gonna, let's see what these ones are like. Oh, I feel like my nose might be going. I feel like my nose is gone because really I'm smelling, I, can, I think I can smell birch tar in here. So this is leaning towards the smoky leathery. <sighs> My nose might be giving up. I'm gonna try one more. 
This one I'm going to have to leave. It's quite a harsh one. I think I've maybe picked something that you would smell at the end. Oh, this one's called Gypsy. So let's try one by Jade Daisy. Yeah? I'll put this one on my skin as my last one. And then, Sarah, I'll have to love and leave you. And I'm going to come and message you right away on the group to tell you thank you personally. I love the name Gypsy for a perfume. Okay. Ooh. This smells like caramelized oak moss <laughs> and it smells like uh, stems. It smells like tree sap, stems, oak mossy. Oh, these also feel like they might be natural. I will say I'm, I don't like the feel of this one as much as I do some of the others. Let me try one more. I'll try one more Jade one. Let's see Jade. This one's called Siva. Oh, we had a, a battery issue. One second. This smells like a Thai green curry. It smells like kind of basil lime and a, a kind of coconut type feeling. And it smells toasted. It smells like toasted spices and food. It smells like food. What is this? Uh, okay. Lime, coconut, <laughs> uh, masoya bark. Ylang Ylang Pineapple, Tuberose, Vanilla, Sandwood, Vetiver, and Masoy Bark. You can really smell the, kind of, it's like a toasted, the coconut in it smells like it's been cooked, and that's interesting. I'll be interested to try the other one by her, because there's three in there. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video, because perfume explosion everywhere. Once again, Sarah, I am truly overwhelmed by how many things there are to try here. It's like a perfume-tastic craziness. I did not expect that at all. So thank you so much for all of this effort that you put to send me this. I know it's difficult to send things from America. I am so excited to try Gallagher really get my nose more into Darren Allen and the Janu January Scent Project because I really like the feeling of them. And these little things, I mean, there's so many, I don't even know where to begin, but they're so cute. I've never seen perfume bottles like that before. So yeah, there's a lot. Anyway guys, if you guys wanna send stuff to my mailbox, the, the address is in the description. This is so much fun and it's more fodder for me to talk about on my channel. So look out for me talking about some of these things. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm Ouch One Mono, trying to make the world smell better one video time. A video at a time. <laughs> I'm perfume high, I think. And Sarah, mwah. bye.